I'm Sister John Mary from the Sisters of Life, a community of women who seek to foster a culture of life in Toronto and throughout North America. We're here at our ministry centre in downtown Toronto. Much of our work involves supporting pregnant women who are alone and need help. We also assist women who have suffered after abortion to heal and regain hope. I hope you'll join me in casting a ballot on October 21st to elect our federal members of Parliament. Before you do, I invite you to reflect on how we can support the dignity of human life. With 94,000 abortions having been reported in Canada in 2017 alone, we know that this is an issue which impacts a great number of women. However, many people are surprised to learn that Canada hasn't had an abortion law in 30 years. Polls consistently tell us that while Canadians have differing views on abortion, most feel that there should be some restrictions in place, such as banning late-term or sex-selective abortions. However, despite the desire of Canadians for protective restrictions, none of the major political parties want to pass an abortion law. Neither do they seem to want to provide appropriate health care supports to those at the end of life. Most people at the end of life cite pain and loneliness as their primary concerns. We know that palliative care can address these issues, yet only 15% of Canadians receive palliative care in the home, and only a third of Canadians have access to any palliative care at all. Instead, there are many proponents lobbying to expand the criteria to make it easier for Canadians to plan their own deaths. Our Catholic faith views every human life as sacred, made in the image of God. We believe that every person deserves to be upheld, protected, and accompanied toward life-affirming decisions. The late Jean Vanier once wrote that every child, every person, needs to know that they are a source of joy. We pray that the sacred gift of life will be respected, valued, and celebrated in our country. May we bring joy and love to those forgotten and abandoned among us.